So this is going to be an update to my older tutorial. I'm going to number these A, you'll see these are A0, A1, A2, A3, A4. Those are the new ones. I'm going to label the old tutorials B1, uh, B2, B3, B4. There, weren't, there were only four or five of the, the old tutorials set, but uh, I'm going to name these A so you know which ones are the newer series. Uh, we got the delays off. This is, uh, the tempo is at 104 BPM, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Um, when you play bad, you want to think about that exact pattern, that very basic 4-4 four, four timing pattern. Um, try not to, you, this is, song can be difficult because your delay gets in the way of your, your count. So it's best to practice this song um, without the delay first, okay? You got your finger here on the D string on the 12th fret, and uh, you're, uh, this is how I play it. I do it different than Edge, by the way. Edge, I think, plays it this way. I find that when you do the switch to here, there's more of a, more of a change, so I minimize that change by using these three fingers, and I like to practice more with my pinky, so I use this formation, and then when you go to the other part, it's an easy, to me, it's an easier switch. As you'll see, it's like this as opposed to like this and like this. Uh, there's, more, there's less movement, so I always go for less movement up and down the neck. Um, so pinky on the 12th E string, the, third, the ring finger on the D string, and then the middle finger is going to come down on the D string on the 11th fret. Okay, but at first all you're going to play is the A and the D string. Okay. <laughs> And you're going to muffle those notes by resting the palm of your hand right on the bridge, right on top of the bridge there, and you're going to muffle those notes. And it takes some practice to do that because you're going to rest your hand on those strings. Let's see if I can show it. Like, see, right, you're going to go right in there like that. Okay. Just on that, there it is. See that? Right there. You're going to muffle the strings with your hand and give it that muted tone. Okay. So not this. You muted it, it sounds like this. Okay, so unmuted. Muted. There's no delay. The pick is important. As you can see, we got the old heard him. I don't know if that's going to focus on there. There's the blue hurtum. No, oh, I know it's I've got the macro lens. There you go. It's got the dimples there on the there. You can see them right there a little bit. So I hold it like this. So those edges, there you see it's nice and focused right on those the grip, the grip uh, edges is what's scratching the strings. And when you put that together with the muted palm, you get that great tone. It's the, the magic of the edge. Um, so again, if I'm not, let me back up. If I'm not resting here, okay, I got my, my hand off. But rest that palm down. Okay, so we got that down. So now, you're, you're, you're muted there on the strings, and you're counting one and two and three and four and. Now the other thing is emphasis on certain notes. It's not one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and there's some emphasis on I believe on two of the notes and that is the first one one so one and then softer one and two and three and then on three one and two and actually it's one and two and one and two and that's when you're gonna switch you're gonna go one and two and Okay, it's not one and two and three and four and one and two and you don't change on three. It's not split 50-50. Okay, that's what's the, the other trick of this, this riff. It's split one and two and, and when you do the and, you're gonna go to this 11th fret on the middle finger, okay? So there we go. It's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And notice it's one, it's harder here, one and one, I can't mute uh, up there. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
So if you keep on tempo, one and two and three and four and 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 then you're gonna throw in the E string, one and two and three, and it's gonna be on the three and. One and two and three and. So on the two and, you're gonna go from here to here. That's gonna go two, two and, and then on three, three and, you're gonna go down to this E string. So you get, I'll play it slowly. One and two and three and four and. And then come back up and do a quick four and up here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and okay. One and two and th three and four and. Some people don't come back up here and do this, and I think it makes it a little empty. And I'm, sometimes I think edge doesn't come up either, but I like to come up here and finish off a couple hits on the four and. So one and two, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. That's the trick to the, the riff. That's what Edge is playing. And then we throw in the dotted eighth note delays and that five that other parallel delay, and you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And four, and one, and two, and three. 